Hi everyone, this is Dr. Deepa Vinay Nambiar and today we are going to talk about something called endometriosis. So first you should just understand that the uterus has an inner lining known as endometrium and this endometrium when it is found in any other part of the body it is known as endometriosis. Mainly it affects the ovaries as well as the tube and the main symptoms can be painful periods, painful intercourse, painful defecation, painful micturation that is urination and even heavy bleeding and sometimes this is a very common cause for infertility. So every menstrual cycle, this tissue that is present in the other places starts to thicken, it breaks down and then it bleeds. And because it is in an encapsulated area, it irritates the tissue around it and it can cause a little bit of inflammation that causing the pain. This causes a lot of adhesions and the organs to stick to each other inside. The causes of endometriosis can be put in forms of theories and one of them states that retrograde menstruation that means the blood that is supposed to be flowing from the endometrial cavity outward sometimes flows through the tubes and falls on top of the ovary or the surrounding tissue which causes endometriosis. The same way I would suggest people who have heavy bleeding not to use menstrual cups because sometimes the blood that is collected inside can go back and cause this kind of symptoms. So talk to your doctor before you use menstrual cups. Another theory states that transformation of certain cells into endometriotic cells can be the reason, embryonic transformation, as well as sometimes this endometrial tissue can go via the blood also and get transmitted elsewhere. Sometimes post-surgery, this endometrial tissue can get implanted, like what we see in endometrial scar. Genetics and lifestyle disorders also cause endometriosis and sometimes immune disorders also do. So diagnosis of endometriosis is basically by taking a good history and a pelvic examination along with which we do an ultrasound scan which definitely will tell us if you do have any kind of finding especially in ovarian cysts like endometriotic cysts. We also call this chocolate cyst because the blood that is collected changes into a tar kind of brown material which looks like chocolate. MRI is done in advanced cases and laparoscopy is the gold standard in finding out and as well as treating the condition. Physiologically, endometriosis can disappear in two conditions. One, if you get pregnant and the other one is when you reach menopause. So once we diagnose exactly which stage of endometriosis you are in, we can help you out with medication which is mostly hormonal or surgery if required. So don't ignore those symptoms and get your consult done because early diagnosis always has better prognosis.